Hey guys, it's Claude and I hope you're doing well. So today I want to show you the process of this watercolor illustration. Um, I did this for this month's auction. For those of you who are new here, I joined a artist collective on Facebook. They are, or we are organizing auctions every month on Facebook. And I messed up my first piece for the auction. So right after I joined, I... <laughs> messed my illustration up and I didn't have anything for the auction so um, that's the reason why I haven't uploaded any new video yet. I started filming a video but I could definitely feel the pressure um, because I knew that I should start with this illustration as soon as possible just so I don't set myself up for failure like last time so um, while I was filming I kind of scrapped this video because I could definitely feel me getting really nervous about it and I also spontaneously joined a um, project um, if you have looked at my community tab then you already know but I joined a um, coloring book project a couple of Instagram artists came together and everybody did a line art for a free coloring book PDF that you can download I'm gonna put the link in the description so um, I got asked if I wanted to join on Friday so then I did my last video on last Saturday and right after that I started on the line art I got up at 6 on Sunday um, so I could finish my line art for the coloring book I submitted the line art and then I started working on my line art for the Bad Apple Artist auction piece and on Monday I wanted to film the video for you guys and uh, yeah I <laughs> started getting worried if I would have enough time with making a new video and then starting or continuing on the Bad Apple Artist piece so I decided to scrap that video and continue working on my sketches for this piece and it took me a while to get the line art right especially because I always switch between digital and traditional um, so when I do the line art in Procreate, I will print it out and then I will trace it on some printer paper and then continue working on it traditionally. Um, I found that this is kind of my way of getting the best results because I the feeling of drawing on an iPad and with a pencil on paper is just different. My lines are different, so um, I always change so many things up. I think I touched upon that in my last video. So yeah, I've been working on this for the last couple of days and it, uh, I, I had ups and downs with this one. I had a lot of fun and I got frustrated a lot and because I put in so much details on the hair and the umbrella and the pattern on the clothing, every now and then I had to step away from this um, just so I wouldn't lose focus, so I wouldn't um, start getting sloppy and uh, regret it. And whenever I uh, took a break from it, I started doing something else like um, organizing my papers for my tax accountant, which was... <laughs> Yeah, it was super relaxing, but <laughs> I really had to get this done too. This was also something that I had in the back of my mind that was really adding to me feeling uh, very stressed. So I'm super happy that now this artwork is done and my papers are organized and ready to go to my tax accountant. So a little background info on this illustration. Um, I did everything in watercolor and a bit of gouache here and there, mostly gouache in the face and in the hands. Um, I do like the saturated and a bit more opaque look, especially in the face. So I tend to always do a couple of touch-ups with gouache. Um, I feel like I can be a lot more sharp and controlled with it, more than watercolor. Um, so I already explained the idea behind this one in my last video but for those of you who didn't watch it yet 
Every Bad Apple Artist auction has two themes and you can choose one of those or you can do both um, if you find a way to combine them. So the themes for this month were fairies or fae folk and yokai. I already mentioned that I'm not really super knowledgeable when it comes to um, folklore or legends or um, any kind of ghost creatures. So um, I just looked a bunch of stuff up and um, eventually I kind of got stuck on this yokai that is called Amabi or Amabiko or also known as Amahiko. So the way this yokai is being portrayed is that it has a beak and long hair and scales and the legend surrounding it is that um, it appeared out of the ocean and it told people that um, if there's ever going to be a sickness that they um, need to carry a picture of it to be protected or if somebody does get sick those people need to be given a picture of the Amabi to get well again and yeah uh, I got really inspired by this because it fits with the current um, situation we are all in so yeah I took inspiration from that but I'm not big into drawing creatures um, that's why I came up with the idea of doing this um, plague doctor mask ish thing and um, instead of the scales just draw a kimono with a um, scaly-esque pattern I guess <laughs> and um, yeah so that's pretty much the whole idea behind this and I I really enjoy the color palette I really like these very muted blue brown greenish colors it was really nice doing something like this because I feel like all of my recent art has been very bright and colorful which isn't a bad thing but it's also nice to tone it down <laughs> a tiny bit I don't really know what else to tell you about it I mean it's just watercolor on top of watercolor I had some difficulty filming some parts um, especially like the hair because there are super fine lines and my camera isn't the best so I had a difficult time capturing all of these tiny lines so I ended up not filming a whole lot of that part but I also didn't really film a whole lot in general for this piece as I mentioned the main focus of this was just to get this done, get this ready and not have anything happen to it and uh, I was filming throughout and trying to capture some of the um, I guess interesting moments I don't know how interesting this really was but um, yeah, I was trying to be really focused on it and not to mess up, which was a bit difficult. Like, I envy everybody that spent the weekend playing Animal Crossing. You guys gave me a severe case of FOMO. <laughs> I was so done and exhausted. And <laughs> all I was seeing on my Instagram feed and the stories was everybody playing uh, Animal Crossing. And I never played that game. Um, so I don't really know what it's all about but it looked really cute and wholesome and all I wanted to do was to lay on my couch and escape in a very cute world <laughs> so at the end I really had to just stop looking at Instagram because it was making me feel very envious of everybody and um, also a huge thanks to all of my patrons you guys are so sweet and thank you so much for your encouraging words i was um, taking photos for the patreon lens it's kind of like um, instagram stories and i was um, taking pictures in between and um, showing them my process and when i was working on the hair and starting the kimono pattern i was feeling like giving up because it looked like i had barely done anything 
and they kept encouraging me <laughs> to grind through it and I was super thankful for that. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. I'm really sorry that this isn't my usual Draw With Me video format. Um, the last two videos I did were a bit longer and also in real time a bit more chatty but yeah I I couldn't chat while I was painting this. <laughs> um, it's probably also for the better because I was very tired and frustrated in between and I don't think anybody would have a lot of fun listening to me being grumpy. Um, but now that this is done and I got um, my papers in order, uh, I feel like um, a bit of weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. So um, after this video, I will go back to my more casual, chit chatty, longer format video for you guys, for everybody who is stuck at home still. Um, we actually went out at the beginning of this week. Uh, we were running out of eggs and milk and stuff like that. So um, we had to get some new groceries and it was a bit of a bizarre experience, to be honest. Um, I could definitely tell that everybody was a bit on edge, I think. Um, everybody kept their distance and people would stop in their track to either let us pass or I could tell that somebody was waiting for me to move on so I would give them some room and some space so they could pass. I never liked grocery shopping to begin with. Uh, to me it's always a stressful experience. Um, this was just a new kind of weird and, and stressful. I have felt like I really had to be focused while shopping, not to um, not to be too close to other people, you know, not to make them feel uncomfortable. And yeah, I hope our groceries will last another week so we only have to go out um, once a week. That would be great. And yeah, I think this is pretty much it. I spent a lot of time on this one. Um, the line art took forever and the painting took around two, three-ish days. I don't even know what is time. What is time, you guys? <laughs> Overall, I'm happy with how it looks. I'm happy that I really poured all of my time and heart and soul into it. So yeah, now I just have to have my fingers crossed that um, somebody wants to buy it. Uh, I mean, I, I'm not quite sure how this auction is gonna go, if there's even gonna be a lot of people who are gonna bid. Um, I mean, these are just these are just really uncertain times. You can't really plan a whole lot in advance. You can't really think of um, projects that you want to do that have anything to do with like events or sending stuff out for the next couple of weeks. And the only thing we can do is just take it day by day. And uh, yeah. I'm trying not to think too much about it. I'm just trying to be positive and optimistic and do as much as I can. But tomorrow I will take the day off. Tomorrow I'm just gonna lay on the couch, stuff my face and watch some movies. And if I feel like drawing, that's great. But if I don't, that's fine. I think a, a day off is uh, long overdue. <laughs> So um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this process and uh, if you did, please hit the thumbs up and leave a comment or subscribe or do whatever you want. I don't care. I am done. <laughs> and see you next time. Stay safe and bye guys.